Welcome back to my channel. I am very tired of trying to record this video. This is the fourth time. So hopefully I get it right this time. The first time I had external distractions and the second time there was wind everywhere blowing everything. And then the third time I forgot to press record on the camera and I was just talking. So as you can see, I had already started the whole budget. So if you have a look here. So <laughs> this is the final time and hopefully it works now. So, basically, we are doing our budget for December. I cannot believe it's December. It's a Christmas month, and in a few weeks, it's going to be a new year. It's going to be 2023. So, this is literally the time to start getting your finances right or start planning on getting your finances right for the new year. Now, Friday was payday for me, the 25th, and we paid rent, and I paid for my car and car insurance. So, my car was 2407 and then plus 1030 which is the car insurance which is 3437 so that's how much i wrote down over here saturday i was so busy because on friday we had a black friday sale which was very unexpected i think i don't really look look at my business or look at my brand as something that is that could sell out on a black friday um but I should know better and I should believe in myself more. So thank you so much to everyone who ordered. Some of you have received your orders. Others are still waiting on it. And others are waiting for the Year of Abundance um, journal to launch. So that they can add on to the order they have already ordered on the, on Black Friday. But thank you so much. Um, so we were packaging your orders. And very I was so, so busy this last Saturday and this whole week. I've been sleeping at 1am. I think this whole week we've only had... I think 13 hours of sleep in total for the whole week which is minimal minimal sleep we slept at one every single day to try and do as much as we can and then we wake up at four because i wake up at four every single morning i work out i shower and then i get scala ready to go to school so it's a bit hectic so yeah saturday had a no spend day because we couldn't go anywhere sunday was also kind of a no spend day but then i put my petrol in the car to get me ready for the new week okay so you're up to date now <laughs> righty so monday i'm going to flip this like that and i hope everyone can see okay so monday what we did is so i put petrol on sunday okay i paid for my phone so i'm going to use one of these stickers so vodacom and if you don't know I do have a cell phone contract with Vodacom, but I do claim at work because it is like a work phone. And that is 409 a month for that phone. Um, what else did I do on Monday? Oh, I paid for Shopify as well. So that's going to go over here. And Shopify was obviously expensive because of how busy the shop has been, which ended up being a 1750 in total. And then on the 29th, really hope everyone can see. On the 29th, we I had a lash appointment. I'm trying to look at my plan over there because I wrote down all the expenses as we went. Let me just find my lash stickers. Um, the other lashes. I'm still also going to use that one. going to use that one i'm trying to put aside all the ones i'm going to use so i'm not looking for them like how i am right now so unorganized i'm so sorry okay i don't know what happened to my lash stickers 
somehow. Oh, there they are. Okay, and this one here. So we had, well, I had a lash appointment on the Tuesday, and that was. 340 because it was a four week lash appointment so what you usually see is 240 which is a three week lash appointment which is fine um and then what else did i do i also withdrew money for my savings so let me grab a cash envelope sticker one over here okay, so I withdrew 600 rand for my envelope Wednesday I did some shopping grocery shopping and pick and pay hyper and that was 420 rands that was spent over there that's all that i did that day but then also the car tracker comes out on the 30th so tracker and that is 189 deduction and then the first of the month we have medical aid coming out so that is 2900 um and that's all for thursday friday we then have scala school fees so i'm just going to take this sticker with a little baby over there and Scala fees, um, which is two eight hundred, and then Saturday. So basically today, we had breakfast this morning. We went out for breakfast with KB at Wimpy, and we spent three hundred rand. And then we also had to do our laundry. So let me just find a laundry sticker. Okay, right here. And that is 120. Okay, tomorrow, Sunday, I don't have any plans for tomorrow, but it most probably will be a no spend day i'm hoping so but i will keep you updated on that now let's have a look at the the week the upcoming week so monday i think because my petrol is low actually we'll put in petrol monday morning so let me find a petrol sticker for you this okay so petrol on a monday and usually i put 400 rand and it lost us the whole week um i don't know what else but i will definitely keep you updated sixth i don't have any plans with finances seventh which is wednesday i might go for shopping again just to top up if we need anything in the fridge toiletries i think actually kb might need a shower gel he uses the nivea shower gel um it smells amazing i also like it on him so thursday no no appointments nothing 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 on the 9th um on the 10th i want to do my hair next week saturday actually so i'm gonna take this beauty sticker over here and put here and then I'll write down how much I actually spent there and then on Sunday I don't have any plans so far 
and then on the 12th we pay for our well not our it's my card actually that i pay for on the 12th i think kb pays for his on the 29th um so my card payment has gone up so it's now 300 rand um and netflix on the 13th which is always 99 rand so it's 100 rand basically for netflix um and then on the 15th is another payday so this is the trick in december you get your pay early i don't know for other companies um but for us we get our pay early and also on that day we are going to the eastern cape um because it is kb's friend's wedding so we're going to be attending a wedding so we've got a little road trip there i don't know how much we're going to spend um but i think we will have to put petrol again um actually on the 14th so um i think maybe when we put petrol here on the 12th we're gonna put a full tank so i'm gonna put a petrol sticker hopefully it will be enough or we should just i don't know i think for now i'll put a petrol sticker over here and i might put another one there as as we, as it goes i'll keep you guys updated i don't know if we're gonna put petrol here and petrol here or we're gonna put a full tank here and then see how much we have on the day of petrol is it enough for a four hour trip okay yeah i think i'm not sure guys um i think that is it and then on friday obviously it's a public holiday in south africa um but it's gonna be a wedding day for us so i'm just gonna put a cake a cake for celebration um, as much as it's not a birthday but and we have to have a budget for the gift and stuff so i think kb because kb is sorting it out but i'm going to add money so i think i will add 1000 on my side i don't know keep you guys updated again 17 18 19 we come back no we come back on the 18th we come back on the 18th so we will put petrol again that morning and i don't know i think we'll put a full tank again 19th i will be back what's happening on the 19th i will really be on leave so i won't be working um so i don't know what's going to be happening let me be honest on the 19th i know my family wants me to finalize christmas plans and things like that so i will keep you guys updated as well on that i'll be obviously posting my weekly budget resets updates um 23 23 no actually no plans 23 24 though we have to have plans here but I, I we could be going somewhere else for christmas but i don't know and if we go it will be this day and then obviously the 25th it is christmas day let me see if i've got a nice sticker for christmas day i don't really have a nice sticker for christmas day but i will take this one Why is it not coming out? Oh, there we go. So on the 25th, I'll just put this one here. And then I'll put Christmas Day. Christmas Day is a no spend day, of course, because it's just family and, you know, whatever. So, yeah, that is my calendar for this month. It is kind of all over the place, got a, little, a lot of gaps. The most important bills are sorted and I know how much they are. But the other things that are spontaneous and this is what the festive does though. Like the festive season is hectic. That's why I preach budgeting using your challenges <laughs> because of how crazy it is. So we have a whole lot of savings throughout the year using the challenges for 2022 that we launched last year 
um i can leave the video up here and we saved a lot of money for christmas and we also did a 10k challenge so we have a lot of those savings um for these events right now that's why i'm not going to write the total income because it's going to be too big um so it's basically our income our december 15 income plus our savings throughout the year and it's just going to be like too much um if someone sees the video on tiktok or anything they kind of will see it out of context and will and will be like you're earning a lot of money we can't relate to you but it's actually not that it's just a whole lot of savings throughout the year that we use for december i hope that makes sense righty now let's write down our amounts so rent always stays the same um so six one two five. Oh my god what was that car and car insurance i think we said three four three seven yes um vodacom is 409 shopify was 1750 car tracker is 189 wi-fi is 200 rand that doesn't change medical aid is 29 netflix is 100 rand you know what i didn't add you is gap cover oh my god gap cover why didn't i add gap cover what is this thing okay which is 409 so some things I'll just remember like as I go and that's okay I'm not perfect I'm not gonna remember everything um, savings I plan to save 1000 I might save more um, petrol Petrol, how much do we usually budget? Let's have a look at November. Petrol, we usually budget 1.4. My mom obviously adds some. So I'm gonna go. Uh, no, I shouldn't have wrote that. I'm gonna go 2.4, including the trips to Eastern Cape and back. Um, eating out and food I think we budget 2.5 usually um, Skylar 2.8 beauty um, how much did I spend last month beauty I'm just spending 1120 so let me say 1.2 this month um christmas is i think we have a budget of let me see we have a budget of 5500 eastern cape we have a budget let me say 2000 um and then gap cover 409 Okay, those are the bills and then I'm just going to tick what has been paid so far. So rent is paid, car and car insurance is paid, Vodacom is paid, Shopify is sorted, car tracker is sorted, Wi-Fi was today, medical aid on the first, Netflix and other things will tick in the future. Okay, so the first week of December, what we did is, let me write with the blue pen. So obviously, this is usually the big week where we have a lot of spending just because it's the first week of the payday. So obviously, it's going to be rent, car, plus insurance, um, petrol. Vodacom, 
food so food includes you know grocery shopping and eating out um medical so this is the 24th to the 11th pay so medical aid what else okay i'm gonna say vodacom plus wi-fi because it's kind of the same thing um okay food da, da, and then scala school fees okay these are the important things um that we paid off this week and next week's budget basic i mean the following week budget will come not next week just because i'm budgeting up until the 11th but the following week and so far all of this has been paid and we still have enough money to sort out everything else and again because i have another payday coming up after this so when i do the budget after the 11th i will be paid by the 15th again and i will show you guys how i'm going to budget for the next 40 days basically because of january being so long um yeah that's basically my budget for this month so far now if we grab my saving challenges and check how we are looking so i've got 250 here on miscellaneous i think i should use it for um, i think i'll actually separate it i'm going to i'm just trying to think i'm going to put on the snowball effect just because the snowball effect will be like starting in a month so i just want to have that 100 rand for january but i'm really considering starting from december going up so from december november etc so basically the snowball effect is the first of the month is january so you save 100 rand second of the month second of the year sorry second of the year is um the second month of the year means 200 rand third month of the year means 300 rand fourth month of the year means 400 rand but also if you want to make it easy for you you can start with the last month of the year which is december and save 1200 rand and then you just take it from there and go up 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 up, up until you just save 100 rand in december and in total it will be 7800 rand saved so i'm gonna split the miscellaneous and take this and put it in here getting ready for January and I'm only gonna color in in January and then let's see, maybe take a 50 and put it in food stamps so I'm gonna buy more food stamps so the reason why I'm not coming in is because I want to start properly in January. So all the food stamps that I have got so far are, are, are sorted out for this year. And all these extra ones are, are ready for next year. Um, yeah. And then I will leave this 100 rand in here. Okay. then um let's have a look at my emergency fund so with the emergency fund we use an app an app called stash i think stash by liberty i think um and a lot of people have known about this app i just literally found it i don't know what was i doing on the app store and then i found it and i did some research and i realized it's actually good so i'm using that for my emergency fund so if we could take my phone now just to see how much we have stashed so far stash app one one nine zero eight so far so we're so close to two thousand 
so the last time I wrote this was last week's budget which was 1727 so if we go 1908 minus 1727 equals to 181 that we have stashed this week stash 181 and 1908 so basically it looks like I, s I went up by 100 rand. Oh gosh. Okay, 181 minus 171. <laughs> what? That is insane. Okay. I went up by 10 rand with my um, stashing. So last week I stashed 171 rand, which was 1727 total. This week I stashed 181, which means I went up by just 10 rand. Okay, so in my emergency fund, I still have the placeholder for 1000 rand, but when we reach 2000 rand, which will probably last next week, we'll have two of these in here. Two of these place placeholders. In my vouchers, I've got some vouchers that I'm going to use for Christmas. I've got a forever new gift voucher. I forgot about this Christmas one. <gasps> this um pick and pay one forgot about it i think i have some money i've been depositing in here that i forgot about so i'm gonna go check at pick and pay how much is this can i check online i don't know and then i've got my gift voucher from gateway and i think i have 360 rand in there and then i have my at home voucher no not at home pick and pay home pick and pay home voucher which has 800 rand in there and then I have my Woolies Woolworths gift voucher which has 500 grand in there which maybe I will use it for like shoes because I love Woolworths shoes I am a size 7 foot I'm, I'm tall so I don't have a small foot I wear size 7 so I love Woolworths shoes because they are so comfortable and they are true to size so yeah and this is my debt sheet so um, I've got nothing in here because I've deposited it into the bank so if we would open up my FNB app which I'm not going to show you my FNB app um, but I can leave something here as proof of how much is sitting in my personal loan account that I'm trying to pay off that is my biggest goal this year or for 2024 2023 so now we have 47,700 Rand. Okay, so if we go 49,000 minus 47,700 equals to 1,300 that we have paid in debt. So what is the date today? The 2nd of December. So plus one, 300. And then we have a balance of 47,700 Rand. Gosh. Okay. Actually, maybe I should take that miscellaneous 10 Rand and add it here to debt. Not 10 Rand, 100 Rand. Oh my God. You can tell I haven't been sleeping. I don't know if I mentioned this, but KB and I have been running on like 13 hours sleep this whole week, the whole week, which is like three hours of sleep a day because of, you know, I love my business and I don't want any of my customers angry or upset at me. So we've been working like countless hours. Okay. Now let me just check. Um, how much we have in our 10 rand envelope this is our second envelope by the way so we have one two three okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ninety rand so i'm gonna color in the two here okay let's put this over here and then we get some coloring in pencils i want to use green because that is what i've been using for my 10 rands and it makes sense the notes are green so we up by two so basically 20 rand 
Oh yes, I said I will color in the rest for TikTok. Okay. Okay. I'm going to leave it like this then. So that is my budget update for this month. It's so all over the place. I am so sorry. I am so tired guys. If I sound tired, please, please, please forgive me for sounding tired. I am trying my best. <laughs> and i really hope you enjoyed the, the budget i really hope you are budgeting with me and also if you are wanting to get yourself a budget journal so the planner budget planner a binder a tendron envelope a clear binder for the challenges a year of abundance journal this is the 2022 and 2023 is coming any of these products a candle they linked on my bio but this one has sold out and this one has sold out but we will be restocking this one very soon and this one very soon this one we might restock at the beginning of january depending on how quick they're going to print it out um it is quite a lot of books we ordered over 300 books so it's going to take a while to print and they get get printed overseas so please bear with us um but i will keep you updated on instagram on tiktok and obviously on youtube i need to start posting more youtube shorts i don't know thank you so much for watching comment down below if you have any other questions or recommendations or videos you'd like to see um but we are working very hard on all the restocks and also on the course the course that is in this journal here Bye. Thank you.